Hello everyone. Let's have some fun today. Let's give this IKEA chair a makeover. This chair needs a new outfit. This headrest piece is on the top. You can unsnap and take it off. Now this chair is naked. There's a zipper on the bottom part and a zipper on the top part. And they connect together on the edge. And there's a velcro piece on the back. First thing, we're gonna take them apart. Now we can undress them. Most important, we have to make a pattern for the side piece or the top chair. This is not a straight piece. It follows the curve of the chair. So we trace it along the piece, adding half inch both sides for sewing. After we get the outline of the width, and now we're gonna measure the length. Add half inch each side for sewing. Now we got our pattern. The main portion of the cover is one continuous piece. So we had to measure all the way from the beginning and turn around to the end and coming back to where the zipper is. And also add half inch each side for sewing. And measuring the width as well. Also adding half inch both sides for sewing. The bottom portion of the cover is a little easier to cut. The side piece is not curving. So we basically cut straight line. All we need is the width and the length. It's time for cutting. I'm cutting the upper portion of the cover first. It's basically a straight line. I'm cutting the upper portion of the side piece. We need two pieces.
the fun part of the making your own seat cover is this is yours and so unique. You can pick any material you want. Cut the upper portion of the side piece, and now we cut in the bottom portion of the side piece. This is the bottom portion of the seat covers. We need two pieces, two inches width strip for the zippers. One for the top portion and one for the bottom portion. This for the top and the zipper and this for the bottom and the zipper. Time for the sewing machine. Sew the zipper on first. Then connect the zipper to the cover. Then sew along the edge of the zipper. Now our one size zipper is complete. We put it on the first side piece first. We sew the side pieces all the way to the top and then make a 90 degree turn and connect it back to the other side of the piece. And we basically make a U-turn and going back to the other side. When you get to the bottom and we made another 90 degree turn and turn again, then we'll connect them later. Put it on the second piece of the side pieces. We do the exact same thing as the first piece. When we get to the top and we make a 90 degree turn, then we go back the other way. Now we can enclose the cover together. Mm -hmm. 
it's time to turn this cover right side out through this uh, zipper opening. Now we got our bottom portion of the cover. After this, we're gonna sew the top portion of the cover. We are using the same technique for the top portion of the cover. And now we got both pieces. For the hand resting piece, I'll do something different. I'm making the right size pouch for it. Add in a 4 inch zipper on the center of the pouch. I'm just gonna insert the piece inside the pouch and zip it up. And the button's still sewing. All I had to do was just snap back. We still have the Velgo piece need to install. I'm using this stick on Velgo. Measure it and cut to the size. Peel off the backing paper and stick it on first and then sew along the edge. After sewing is done, we still have to connect the top portion of the cover to the bottom portion of the cover. We can do that through the zipper opening, which is basically sew two of them together. We can lead two to three inches unsold from the both sides. Here we go. I didn't want to take the old cover out, so I leave the whole thing in it. Alright, this chair got a new outfit. If you like to watch my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Please check the link here for more sewing projects. I will see you all next time.